In this section, we will learn about double linked list. Double linked list is another variant of linked list. Double linked list is sometimes also called as doubly linked list. The node of a double linked list has three members. The first one is the element which contains the object or data itself. The second one which contains the reference to the next node in the double linked list. And these two members that is element and next are same as what we have seen in linked list. It also contains the third member that is previous. Previous will have reference to the previous node in a double linked list. Let us look at how double linked list are created. Each element in the collection will have a node of a double linked list. A node will be created for element 10 and this node will have next member as well as previous member assigned as none or null. A new node for element 20 will be created and this node will also have null or none for next and previous members. Now node 10 should link towards node 20. So therefore the next member of node 10 will be assigned the reference of node 20 and previous member of node 20 will be assigned reference of node 10. And the previous member of node 10 will have none because there is no node before node 10 as well as the next member of node 20 will be none because there is no node next to node 20. The double linked list will grow and let's say we have a node 30 both next and previous of node 30 will be null. Then we assign next of node 20 referencing node 30 and previous of node 30 referencing node 20. In the same way for node 40 next of node 30 will reference node 40 and previous of node 40 will reference node 30. And then for node 50 also next of node 40 will reference node 50 and previous of node 50 will reference node 40. This is how a double linked list is created. Now let us see how to create node for double linked list. Since the node for double linked list has three members, we have three instance variables that is element, previous and next. And the node class for double linked list will have slots member containing three instance variables that is element, previous and next. We will also have a head and tail where head points to the first node in the double linked list and tail points towards the last node of the double linked list. We will have the init method for the class node where the element is assigned to the instance variable underscore element. Previous will be assigned to instance variable previous that is underscore prev and next will be assigned to instance variable underscore next. You can observe the difference between the node class of a single linked list which contains only two instance variables that is element and next. But in this case, the node class of doubly linked list has three instance variables that is element, previous and next, as well as the init method will assign values for three instance variables. Now let us see an example of creating a node. When this statement n1 equal to node of 10 comma none and none is used in Python, a new node will be created with the name n1 where the element is 10 and next as well as previous points towards null or none. We can access the instance variables of this node. For example, n1.element, n1.previous as well as n1.next. n1.element right now contains 10, n1.previous contains null as well as n1.next contains null. We will create another node that is node of 20 comma none comma none and assign it to node 2. This will create a doubly linked list node with element 20 as well as next and previous pointing to null or then the statement n1.next equal to n2 will assign a reference from next member of n1 to n2 that is the reference of n2 will be stored in next member of n1. Then if we use n2.previous equal to n1 that is the previous member of n2 will be assigned reference of node n1. Now once we have seen the basics of how node class is created for double linked list as well as how the assignment operation works, we will see the details of insert and delete operations. Here also in double linked list we will have insertion and deletion. Insertion can be performed at the beginning of the double linked list or at the end of the double linked list as well as at any position within the double linked list. In the same way even removing a node or deletion of a node can be performed at the beginning of the double linked list, at the end of the double linked list as well as 
from any position within the double linked list. The first operation we will see is adding a node at the beginning of the double linked list. We will define a method add first which takes in one parameter element. We will create a new node and call it as newest that is newest equal to self dot node of e comma none and none. This is the same statement how we have created a node n1 in the previous slide. If you look a new node is created whose element is 70. Then we will check if the double linked list empty same way we have checked it for single linked list. If double linked list is empty head and tail both will point towards the newest node. If there are nodes in double linked list then we need to use a statement newest.next equal to self.head. This statement the next member of node 70 will have a reference of head node. Then the statement head.previous equal to newest here the node 10 which is the head node right now the member previous will point towards the newest node. And lastly we will move the head towards the newest node using the statement self.head equal to newest. And then increase the size of the double linked list. This is how a new node is inserted at the beginning of the double linked list. The next operation we will consider is inserting the element at the end of the double linked list. We will define a function add last and then pass the element as a parameter. A newest node is created same way what we have seen in the previous slide. In this case we are creating a node 70. Initially this node 70 will have previous as well as the next member as null. We will check if the double linked list is empty. If it's empty head and tail will both point towards the newest node. If the double linked list is not empty then the tail dot next will be assigned reference of newest node that is next member of tail node 50 will be assigned the reference of new node that is 70. Then the previous member of new node will be assigned to tail or node 50. And the last thing we need to do is move the tail to the new node using the statement self dot tail equal to newest and then increment the size of the list. In this slide we will look at how to insert a node within the double linked list. We will define a method add any and create the new node same way which we have done earlier. In this case newest node is node 70 and then we will use a temporary variable that is t head equal to self dot head. We will use a while loop to traverse till the position we need to insert the node that is in this case let us suppose that we are inserting the node after third position. The while loop will execute and t head will move to the next node till the position after which we need to insert the node. In this case now the t head will be pointing towards node 30. Internally if we say t head will point towards 30 and t head dot next will point towards node 40 because node 40 is next node to 30. We will use a statement newest node dot next equal to t head dot next. That is the next member of newest node will have reference of node 40. Then t head dot next which is node 40 dot previous will have the reference of node 70. And then t head dot next equal to newest means that is the next member of node 30 will reference newest node. Then newest.previous will be assigned t head that is the previous member of newest node will be assigned the reference of node 30. This is how a node can be inserted at any position within the double linked list. We will now see how to remove an element from the beginning of the double linked list. We will define a method remove first and will check if the double linked list is empty or not. If the double linked list is not empty then we will retrieve the element to be deleted using the statement element underscore delete equal to self dot head dot element since head points towards the first node in the double linked list. Then we will move the head to head dot next that is node 20. Now node 20 becomes the first element of the double linked list. 
and then we will assign previous member of head as null and finally we decrement this size of the double link list and then return the deleted element. We will now see how to delete a node from the end of the double link list. We will define a method known as remove last and then we will check if the double link list is empty. We will retrieve the element of the node to be deleted using the statement elite underscore delete equal to self dot tail dot element that is element fifth. Then we will make self dot tail equal to self dot tail dot previous. This will move the tail to node 40. And then we will say self dot tail dot next equal to none and decrease the size of the double link list and return the element which is deleted. This is how the last element of the double link list is removed. We will now look at removing an element from anywhere within the double link list. We will define a method remove any and provide the position as a parameter. Suppose we want to delete node 30, we will use dhead and assign the value of the head that is the first node of the double link list. Now head as well as dhead will be pointing towards node 10. We will use a while loop to traverse till the node to be deleted but one. In this case when we are deleting node 30 that is the pos node at the position 30, we will move dhead till node 20. Internally if we see t head which represents node 20 will have dot next value referencing node 30 and dot next value referencing node 40. We will use a statement t head dot next equal to t head dot next dot next. And now next member of node 20 will reference node 40. And now t head dot next will be node 40 since we have already referenced it. So t head dot next is node 40 dot previous is the member of node 40 which will point or refer to node 20. Then the node is deleted as well as the size of double link list is decremented and even the element deleted can be returned. This is how the insert and delete operations on double link list works. In the next section we will see the implementation of these operations in Python.